Hey everyone! I think this is going to be my last video here in Quebec. I'll be heading home. By the time you watch this video, I think it'll be my last week of school. So we'll see how that all goes. But um, yeah, I think we did it. I think every Tuesday there's been a video for you guys to enjoy. So hello, hello. Happy Tuesday afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. For those of you that are new and don't know me, my name is Genevieve Co. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Markham, Ontario, Canada. And the past few weeks have been a whirlwind because I have been studying in Quebec. Um, doing a French immersion program, but of course I've been stamping too. I love stamping. I love sharing stamping with others. Um, I'm not at all creative or artsy, but I think that's why I like I like stamping because the products make it super easy. And if I make a mistake, it's no problem. I just flip the paper over and we're not talking a million bucks. So it is a really fun activity for me. And I've been a demonstrator now for almost 15 years. And the best part has been the connections I've made, the people I've met, and just having fun together. So these Facebook videos each week are just to give you a little inspiration, but also for us to connect and say hello to one another. So go ahead type some comments in the uh, chat underneath I love to read your comments and hopefully my husband's keeping track of uh, drawing a winner each week um, so hopefully you have fun with me I love to connect with you so we're at the beginning of August did everybody have a good civic day in Ontario we have our civic day uh, holiday so uh, did you do anything special tell me what you did I'm pre-recording this video, so I don't really have any exciting news yet, but keep watching. I'm sure I'll tell you what's been going on. I've actually been doing a blog post um, just with all the adventures each week here of my, uh, I don't know whether to call it a vacation. It doesn't feel like a vacation, but uh, um, my adventures, I guess that's a good word, my adventures in Quebec. So uh, yeah, also beginning of August is me means that it's the last chance to apply uh, to register for August classes and for my um, new catalog stamp camp at the beginning of September. So last chance to register because as soon as I get home, I'm going to be designing, cutting, prepping, mailing, all that good stuff. So I don't want to miss you. Um, I do do these videos, but I really love it when you join my classes because that allows me to just give you the gift of um, making it easy for you to create. I pre-cut things, you get packets in the mail, and uh, I would love to share that with you. So don't be shy at all. Go ahead and register. The the link should be in the description and um, I'd love to stamp with you more. Okay, so why don't we dive in? I didn't have any particular really special thing to stamp for you today, but I thought I would, again, keep it simple. Everything's been simple here because I haven't been able to bring my whole craft room, but I brought what I could in my suitcase and uh, one of quite a few um, kind of one of the key things that I brought with me were my kits because kits are a fantastic way to get that crafty mojo going while not breaking the bank or um, using a ton, a ton, a ton of supplies. And so it's perfect for when you're traveling, um, when you're doing, you know, sharing um, a little stamping with someone new, uh, just with if you want to do something relaxing with a friend, kits are great. So that's what I brought with me. So I thought it might, this is like a reality TV show today, a reality program, because um, I have a kit that I brought that I haven't made up yet, but I want to make it up. And so you'll get to see what happens when I uh, pull out a kit and what I do when I pull it out. Okay, so why don't I flip the camera over and we will stamp together. Okay, is everything working? Yes, you can see my tabletop. So for those of you that don't know, this is the place to go when you're looking for my links. So I know I had talked about signing up for classes, um, shopping my online store, all of that. Just go to Linktree slash Stampin' for Fun and it'll have all my current links there. If you want to check out my blog, see what I've been up to, you can find that link here. It's Linktree. There's a dot between the R and the EE slash Stampin' for Fun. Okay, so this is the kit I thought I would 
break open today because I wanted to stamp a bunch of cards. The Nourish and Flourish kit. Okay, although it says, I think it's missing an H. Nourish and Flourish. There's yeah. supposed to be an H, I think. Okay, so what's fun about this kit? Let me show you where it is in the catalog for those of you who have catalogs. It has made its debut in this mini catalog July to December. And right in the beginning, it's so easy to miss. But this is Stampin' Up's Make a Difference uh, project. And so the Nourish and Flourish kit is $54 Canadian. It's on page five of the catalog. And uh, it includes a canvas lunch bag and a card making kit. And you're like, what is with the lunch bag? Let me show you the lunch bag first of all. I. I've actually been using it like for real life. It's not just on display. Um, I brought it because I knew that I'd have to pack lunch for school. And so every day you see me going to school with my backpack on my back and I'm carrying my little lunch tote. It is insulated. I, I put like a little ice pack inside with my lunch and yeah, it's held up really well. Like I've used it every single day these uh, five weeks here in Quebec and uh and it's so pretty okay so it's already gotten a ton of use but it seems to be holding up really well the uh, pretty flowers and the decal at the back there's no wear and tear there the handle's getting a little brown because i just i mean i i lug it with me all day every day for school so um what is with the lunch bag though okay here's what you need to know it's because when you purchase this card making kit you're actually making a $4 donation to support um, um, charitable organizations that are working to end food insecurity. So it's actually a donation. It's like you're making a difference. You're really making a difference with when you purchase this kit. Not only are you going to be making a difference by creating the cards and sending them out and blessing people, you're... Um, Part of your purchase price is actually a donation to a charitable organization that support that supports um, food insecurity or helps to end food insecurity. So I think every um, kind of location, like every region, will have a different organization. Stampin' Up! researches that. And so I don't know whether it would go towards a food bank or um, I'm not quite sure. Stampin' Up! kind of decides that. Uh, but anyway, I, I bought it right away, first of all, to make a difference because I know um, that that can be really challenging with the increased prices of everything. I know more and more people are facing challenges just um, getting the basic food necessities. But I also got it because the cards look pretty. I love the colors. And because kits, I like kits. They are fun. So let's get started. I'll show you how I use kits and I know everybody's different with how they use kits that's the best thing about it is you can customize it for how you want but I have the type of personality where I love to feel productive I don't know it just makes me feel happy if I did a lot like if I just produced a lot something about that just makes me feel happy so that's um kits make it easy to do that because a lot of pre-work is done for me so I want to show you these pretty envelopes Okay, they're, um, they're not lined, but they're colored, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's not like there's an extra lining inside. They're actually just a different color inside, which makes it really pretty. So we've got the, um, I want to say that's evening evergreen, but it might be shaded spruce. Yes, it is shaded spruce. And then this looks like a um, petal pink here. And then this is like the pool party, pool party color. So very pretty colors. Those are our envelopes. And let's pull out the card bases. Okay, so this one has some embossing. Ooh, look, they come in different languages. Ooh, okay. Oh, maybe I bought it in French? Why is it all in French? Let's look. Okay. Oh, no, no. It does come in different languages. I was like, why are they only in French? Okay. So let me pull out the card bases. So what I do whenever I get a kit, the first thing I do is I sort. Okay. Here we go. So we've got the English sayings. We've got some, yeah, these are the English sayings here. Okay. 
Oh, hold on a minute. There, yes, so the top is English, the bottom is German, and then the top here is in French, and the bottom is probably um, Dutch, I'm guessing. Okay, so it's great. You don't have to choose your language. It's all there. Okay, so I sort. I sort by card bases. I always put the envelopes aside. Like, I don't need those right now, so I'm just, like, totally putting them far away so that they don't clutter up my desk. And then I take out the card bases and I put all the word die cuts in one pile and then all the other die cuts in another pile. And then I put all my adhesives together, okay? Now, if you're new to stamping, I advise keeping this sheet right here, this cardboard, because it helps protect your surface. It's almost like it gives you a little stamping surface. Okay, and then you're not going to want to throw that out either because inside are the directions. Okay, so, so for those of you that like directions, um, you can look at these and it just like the little circles stand for where you put the little glue dots. Okay, so I keep all my adhesives in a pile. So this kit comes with two types of adhesives, the Stampin' Dimensionals, which are foam raised dimensionals and these um, glue dots. Okay, so they are double-sided little circular adhesives. And then the embellishments I put off to the side because I can always do that at the end. Okay, so those are my piles. Whenever I get a kit, that's the first thing I do. I sort into piles, card bases, die cuts, adhesive embellishments. Okay. Next thing I do for me, now if you're the type that looks at instructions, feel free, look at all the instructions. Me, I just stare at the pictures <laughs> and then I just uh, pick one and I start. So I'm gonna start with this one that has these like, this flowery background. I will have to look at the instructions cause I'm wondering which one. I mean, honestly with kits, it doesn't really matter that much because you can always mix and match and interchange. But it looks like we're doing this first one here. So I'm just gonna do that. And let's, let's just go for it. Okay, so here's the finished, kind of the finished picture. Okay. And it looks like there's flowers. Okay, we can just go for it. That's what I do. Just telling you, I don't overanalyze. I think one of the, especially if you're newer to crafting, you get, it can be really easy to get um, kind of too stuck on the little details. Remember, crafting is about creating. And so Stampin' Up! makes creating really easy, especially with kits. But the color coordination is fantastic. So I like to do assembly line. Now, again, I said people can do it all different ways. If you want to take all your stuff out and just make one card and then put it all back, that's fine. But I have a strong <laughs> urge to be productive. So I just do it all at once. Okay, so there we go. Do that. And then we'll grab our sayings. Maybe I'll do one in French and two in English. Because I was thinking I can give it to my teacher at school. See, it's easy to find these die cuts if I already pre-sorted them ahead of time. So they're all in its own pile. So it's just easy to get. See, See, that's why the sorting is really important. Okay, so let's stick those down. We're gonna see whether we can get by. So the only thing I've used outside of the kit is my scissors so far. Okay, so I'm using the dimensionals that came in the kit. The uh, banner that I put on here was already adhesive, so you didn't need anything special for that. Okay, and then we'll just pop that on. So this is called stamping a stack. For those of you that haven't heard that term before, I'm stamping a stack. Although this kit does not require any stamping whatsoever. 
you don't actually need stamps, which is why it is perfect to do with a friend. I would suggest, you know, buying one for yourself, getting one for a friend, meeting up and just doing it together. You could do it in a restaurant. You could do it, you know, have a little lady spa time or something. Okay. So just let me pop out the pieces that I want to use here. And we'll just build it from there. You can make it as detailed or as less detailed as you want. So I'm just looking at the picture that's here in the corner and it looks like there's like a little flower popping out. Now, if you don't own any adhesives, you will have to use these uh, glue dots. Okay, when you get a kit. And so they're a little, I find them a little fussy. Um, you can use, again, I'm trying to keep it simple with the um, scissors, but what I would really use is my take your pick tool because it's easy to just like pop these little backings off and then it's got adhesive on the back. Okay. But really, if your budget allows, what I would do really to make it go fast is I just use my seal adhesive here. Okay. And just pop them on. So I do everything all at once. Okay. And so I'm just loosely following the picture that is on the kit. Okay, and I noticed that they had one here. Actually, they used a dimensional. I can tell it's popped up. So while I'm doing this, talk to me a bit in the comments, my friends. Tell me how you've taken advantage of celebration. So celebration is a special that runs right now only July and August. And one of the favorite perks of Celebration is that for every $60 purchase, you get a free gift. So as I recall, this uh, kit is $54. So you could just easily add on, you know, a seal adhesive or take your pick tool and you'll be up to the 60 and you'll get a free gift. So there's lots of free gifts to choose from. Tell me which free gifts um, you have your eye on and uh, tell me in the comments because I like to... I like to read about those. Okay, so we'll take our little die cuts. I see that we've got some blue here, so let's do that. I think this one has, it's all these little pieces that make it look so great and the color coordination. Okay, so you could totally imagine doing this at the cottage. I've done it on airplanes. So what I might do is start. I find this way more efficient than just doing one card at a time because I have everything out. It's the same card. Oops. Just like that. Okay, and then of course we need There we go. Okay, so I like the ones that are together. Again, I'm not big on overanalyzing. I just like to get things done. Okay, so see how sorting it keeps it really 
easy and let's can you see my table okay okay so all I'm doing now is I'm putting the dimensionals on the back oh my poor host mama is gonna have all these little uh, dimensional backies <laughs> I was trying to be really careful at first but now I've gone back to my old ways of just throwing these dimensional backings around. Okay. Okay. So we'll get rid of the backings there. Okay, and here we go. A little bit of greenery here, whoops. I'm trying to make them different greenery, but it doesn't really matter. I should do more in French. Okay, so we just, oh, I'm sure we could do more. What else does it have? Oh, it has another leaf peeking out the bottom here. Okay, but we get the idea. Beautiful, three done. Then I just move on to the next one. It's so satisfying, my friends. Super duper satisfying. So let's look at the next picture. This one has the embossing, and it's hard to see in the catalog, but hopefully you can see it. It's almost like it's got like kind of diamond or I don't know if lattice is the quite the right word, but I'm trying to see. I think this is, yeah, this is this one. Okay, so here's the picture. And so in the end for this kit, you'll end up with nine cards, okay? And so it's really easy. It also makes, I know we're kind of done that season, but these kits make great gifts. And then you can even put, you know, when you're giving the gift to let the person know that this gift also contributed to um, supporting organizations that helped end food insecurity. So. It's like a double gift. Okay. okay, this has a lot of little flowers here, so let's let's decide where we're gonna put our flowers. Okay, so I think we can use pretty near all these flowers because the last card does not use as many. So let's do that. Okay, really, <laughs> there's nothing tricky about this, but I do want to give you a tip about um, popping out these flowers. Okay, because you just want to be a little bit careful when you're popping them out to not tear it. So my trick is I just kind of push gently, like one hand holds the die cut, the other hand holds the outside portion, and then you can kind of pop it out like that. Okay. And then we'll need a few leaves, it looks like. Okay. I think everything looks better popped up, so why don't we put our dimensionals on the back and then we will finish off this card. Okay, so hopefully you're getting an idea. I know some of you are like, oh, 
kits are too easy for me. I like to really make it fancy, fancy, fancy. So that's totally great. Stampin' Up! has amazing products so that you can die cut and stamp and, um, you know, a great trimmer so you can create fancy pop-up kind of cards. But honestly, there is always a place for sweet and simple because sometimes at least for me again i know we're all different but if something takes a while to make sometimes after a long day of work you might feel like oh no more work and you won't take out your stamping stuff because you'll think of it as work and that is not what it's about my friends it's about enjoying it's about creating pretty things and being proud of what you created. So you can still be proud of what you created when you're using kits, absolutely. And it just makes it easy. And what I love is that you can share it with others. How many of you wish you had more friends to craft with? I don't know. Go ahead, let me know in the comments. Because most often what I hear is, you know, none of my friends are crafty. None of my friends want to do this. But maybe it's because it's just got too many steps or too many pieces. Or really, they're actually afraid that they have to spend a lot of money. And these kits, I promise you, are not about spending a lot of money. The kits are about having fun and making pretty things. Okay. So, pop this this on here. I don't really know. I probably should have put the saying on first, but we'll just keep going. Oops. No, I want this. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I really should have popped out this little saying <laughs> just so I can get an idea of where everything fits. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. That's the great thing. You can just do your thing and everything is fine. Everything is always fine when you're stamping. Okay. Now, if you run out of dimensionals, because I am going pretty gung-ho with them here, you can always purchase more on my online store. Always super useful to have dimensionals on hand. Okay. Um, or I make sure to use these side pieces as well. Um, you can just cut them and use portions of it as well. Okay, so that is pretty much what I wanted to show you today. I won't, won't give you the excitement of watching me make all the cards, but in just this short amount of time, I've already made four cards. I, I mean, I could have easily finished these other ones that I started, which I will finish after this video. Okay. But hopefully you feel inspired to do to stamp a stack yourself. And if you do sit down and stamp a stack, make sure to show me a picture um, so that I can cheer you on. These also would make great, like I'm just imagining, I could give my teacher a bunch, wrap some pool party ribbon around with these gorgeous, where's my gorgeous, beautiful envelopes that I put aside, right? They make great gifts as well. They make great gifts as a card making kit to give or to make and give the cards as gifts. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. Hopefully next week when you see me, I'll be back in my craft cave and I'll have all my stuff at hand and I'll be excited to share more celebration goodies with you. Don't miss out. Thanks for joining me. Let me flip this around so I can say goodbye. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I love to answer your questions. Thanks for joining me. Have a great afternoon. Bye.